हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट अस लर्न अबाउट ब्रेस्ट इन पैथोलॉजी सो हैज वी हैव डिस्कस द नॉर्मल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ब्रेस्ट इन एनाटॉमी आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू गिव ए आई मीन आई वुड लाइक टू गिव ए ओवरव्यू ऑफ इट ब्रेस्ट नॉर्मली कंटेंट्स ऑफ एपिथेलियल कंपोनेंट एंड स्ट्रोमल कंपोनेंट epithelial component is nothing but the ductal system breast is basically divided into 15 to 20 lobes and these lobules through collecting ducting system it opens into main excretory duct which is lactiferous duct at the end of the lactiferous duct it, it shows a small sinus which is called as lactiferous sinus this lactiferous sinus opens into outside so each lactiferous duct here is branched into number of branches which are called as terminal ducts in the breast lobule i think you uh, you got it what i said because if you have already saw the topic which was dealt in anatomy then you would have got it clearly but it's okay let me uh, draw it again so here this is a lactiferous duct and this lactiferous duct well through a lactiferous sinus opens into the breast right this lactiferous duct divides into many in a lobe right and it uh, ends up finally after division into an alveolus right this part is called as terminal ductal unit right terminal ductal lobular unit it is terminal duct lobular unit the rest all i have already dealt in anatomy this is a new word which you will be hearing here again and again and this is one component this is epithelial component whereas stromal component is about stroma uh, you know the in between the two ducts there will be stroma which it which is made up of connective tissue as i have already discussed so this stromal component is of two types one is intralobular stroma and the other is interlobular stroma intralobular stroma is between the two lobes intra is in, in inside inside a lobe whereas inter is between the two lobes so let us now discuss about the uh, pathological aspect of breast so now we are dealing with breast so in the breast uh, let me start up with uh, non neoplastic lesions of the breast uh the non neoplastic lesions of the breast are subdivided into three types neoplasms sorry one is inflammations and the other is fibrocystic stage change sorry fibrocystic change and the other one is gynecomastia right so in the inflammations we deal with acute mastitis mastitis is inflammation of breast granular granulomatous mastitis before i deal with each and every chapter in pathology i'll write an outline chart which you all have to remember it for sure because that is what makes you learn pathology and mammary duct ectasia i will explain all each of them in detail fat necrosis because breast is uh, contains a lot of adipose tissue that may undergo necrosis and galactosil right 
and in the fibrocystic stage these fibrocystic changes may be non proliferative uh, fibrocystic change one or a b is proliferative fibrocystic changes Proli proliferative yeah non proliferative and proliferative fibrocystic changes and it all it is and the third one is gynecomastia which is hypertrophy of the male breast so we'll deal each of it in separate classes in our next class i would deal with inflammations don't forget to remember this table before you know about non neoplastic lesion because this chart is what which gives you an idea an overview of the chapter of breast okay then bye